Denver's Good Day Colorado. All right, we all love our dogs, of course, but they can completely destroy landscaping. For example, oh, I just love these big dumb animals. <laughs> now, granted, that was a movie, but we remember the movie. Well, it's the family flick, Beethoven. Most dogs are not that bad, but it can be almost impossible for your family friend to enjoy the backyard properly and for you to share it as well. So how can you go about dog-proofing the whole experience? Well, Dan Drew is in Inglewood, and he shows us. Morning, guys. Let me tell you something. Dogs and people have one thing in common. They both love gardens, but for different reasons. Elizabeth Bublitz, good morning. And you good morning. Rep you represent? Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. And you are an expert in dog proofing a backyard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We get to call the dog ate the yard. So there is, there is hope. Oh, yeah. All right. So people love gardens. I know my wife loves a garden. And there is one right there, but it looks like a, it looks like a prison garden. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a prison garden, no, is it? No, <laughs> it's not. If you have dogs that trample plants, elevated uh, beds are a great solution. Elevate the garden. Yeah, and it also helps with, uh, there's not so much weeding. <laughs> so. And you have to bend over as much when you when you are weeding or whatever. That's right. All right, come on over here, Elizabeth. Now, everybody loves roses. I love roses. Come on over here so Bobby can get a shot. And uh, this is a plant that, my guess is, a dog will not eat. Right. Yeah, they don't love roses like we do. They uh, It's so thorny. One little poke and they won't come back. So we have roses planted uh, strategically in this backyard mm -hmm. so dogs will not dig or eat or... Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we also did some ground covers called steppables and dogs and humans can walk on it. And can I walk in the sea? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, my wife would kill me if I did that in our garden. All right, and then come on over here. Here's something that uh, people and dogs do. People do it in bathrooms most of the time, but dogs do it kind of like wherever they want. But uh, So the idea is to do what? Fire hydrants. All right. But in this case, uh, one of their shrubs died because the doggy kept lifting his leg on it. Mm -hmm. So instead of replacing the plant a zillion and one times, just go ahead and put a pretty object, whether it's a boulder, a bird bath, a container, um, bench, mm -hmm. anything that won't die. <laughs> well, how about replacing the dog? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, did I just say that? He yeah. See, he didn't like that. He heard that. Yeah. If people want information, what do they need to do? They need to go to the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado website. Mm-hmm and click on Pet Friendly Landscapes. Elizabeth Bublitz, what you do, it's kind of a specialty. Are a lot of people do the, what you do in, in the state? Huh? I don't think so. I think yeah. I'm the only weirdo. <laughs> Okay, is, is, is it costly? I mean, is it as expensive? Uh, no, it can okay. range. Yeah. It ranges. You know, we work with any budget, mm -hmm. and so, um, no, it varies. All right. Yeah. Get a cat. All right, guys, we're going to toss it back to you, kdvr.com. Uh, click on the S scene on icon. You are one lucky dog. I know. I'm a lucky dog. Guys, we'll toss it back to you. You're a lucky dog, too. When they say All right, that. Dan, thank you so That's much. Right. Those poor dogs are like, leave me alone. Uh, you know what's funny is that they were talking about the dogs don't like to eat roses. Well, Ike, you know my dog. You've met my dog before. Sure. I've been dealing with these allergy problems, so two great friends of mine have been taking care of Ike, and they have flowers in their backyard. Unfortunately for them, they discovered very quickly that Ike likes to snack on flowers, which I didn't know. I live in a high-rise, you know? I, I don't have a garden. So <laughs> poor Ike has been eating their whole garden. They have just little stems sticking up now. Mm -hmm. So See, Jen, be careful when you're yeah. friends with Melody. Just yeah. what she does, she takes her dog, gives it to you, gives and lets it, it destroy you. your place. And I let it eat your flowers. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm like, Melody, your bill's getting mighty large. I know. <laughs> Seriously, those poor, I, I owe them quite a bit. I'm yes, like, oh, the yeah. carpet cleaning, now you have to get flowers. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. No, but hey, they, they're really good dog owners, so they've been, you know, like he's outside going to the bathroom. And do they own their own dog? They do, yeah. So he has a little playmate too, <laughs> Addie, a little boxer. She's very, very cute. She's not anyway, new. so I don't even know hey, what to great say. day for the great day for the dogs, right? I love it. You just threw Ike completely under the bus. Oh, no. <laughs> Ike, is, Ike is a good little dog. Hey, you know, it, it is a nice morning. Maybe head out to the dog park or enjoy some time outdoors.